Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 2, Episode 19, Thoughts. This episode is called The, ha the Dirty Half Dozen. And yeah, another episode I love. Spoilers for anything MCU leading up to and including this episode. No spoilers for anything MCU that happened after this episode first premiered. The top link in the description box will enable you to donate to the sign after strikers, and I implore you to do so. And then there are some links to videos to help explain why this is such an important strike. So let's dive in. So yeah, we see Reyna have another vision. I really appreciate the way that you know she's realizing she's she has power there she can use you know it's it's one thing that she can see these things but to tell the people you know she knows she's she's she knows sky pretty well by this point she knows if she tells sky you can you know you can fix this sky's going to make the the attempt even though you know, both of them know Jai Ying don't want, uh, yeah, don't want that to happen, and yeah, um, Zabo yells at Jai Ying in public in the afterlife, and that could become a problem, you know, he's, he's talking about how, you know, Sky is, Daisy is their daughter, and, you know, she... Yeah, it's this. You know, this was some of what she was afraid of. Jai Ying. She was worried that people would, at the, in the afterlife, would realize the the connection, and that it would, you know, her judgment would be called into question. And yeah, Reina sees that at least part of her vision did indeed come true. Gordon with his bloody face. And yeah, Jai Ying says, you know, it's just too much risk to rescue Lincoln. And we can completely understand why. It's, you know, it's very, very much like at the start, it the afterlife seemed just perfect for Sky, but we are seeing, yeah, there are definitely some issues. You know, it's not this perfect heavenly place and I quite liked Mike and Lincoln talking through the wall right because I didn't think of that well at least your sarcasm is still working and yeah Bakshi encourages List to do experimentation I really appreciate how how brutal this show gets sometimes. You know, the Nazis did do experiments on people. And let's see. Yeah, uh, Lance really can't stand seeing Grant and Kara all lovey-dovey. And yeah, May really hates that Grant is back on the base. Which is, of course, quite fun. And Fitzsimmons talk about, you know, oh, if only we could do this to to Grant. And it's it's very, very cute. Honestly, I've probably done it myself. But yeah, um, Fitz trying to impress the girl he likes by saying, uh, you know, I... Uh, you know, like, I myself, to be clear, I myself have never tried to kill someone, but, yeah, you know, Fitz knows that if he says, I try to, to kill Grant, you know, that's, yeah, Simmons is, of course, gonna, gonna quite like that, but, but, yeah, you know, he says, ah, I wish I should, could have thrown him out of plane, and then she brings up the, the, those mines that are explosives that disintegrate people and you know for a second he's like yeah we should do that he deserves that and then he realizes she's serious she actually wants to kill Grant and yeah I I really appreciate that it wasn't just an empty threat when she you know she did threaten to kill him if she ever saw him again 
last time that they did see each other in person. So yeah, very yeah, quite quite appreciate that. And yeah, May and Coulson discuss about secrets and Theta protocol. <laughs> And Sky calls Rain, or you know, not not by name, but she's you know she says Raina's power is to spin really fast to get gold coin, so, something like that, which is of course a reference to to Sonic, which yeah, very very funny. She does have enough quills to see. Yeah, and at the end of the episode, just to, to skip ahead, because I just realized I forgot to write that down, you know, Coulson and Maria Hill are, like, laughing at how ridiculous it is for leadership to take a vote. You know, that's, so, that is probably where, you know, I mentioned in an earlier video, I was a little worried about where they were going with that. And it does seem like it's going to be, I mean, I'd like to, it would be great if one of the next episodes disproves Coulson's assertion here, but, you know, and, and yeah, the, because Coulson knew about the, the scepter and wanted to get that information to Hill so that Avengers Age of Ultron could happen and... Yeah, he was worried that the the votes would not be in favor of that. And yeah, really, really great. You know, Simmons. Once she's decided she's going to try to kill him, you know, she she joins the mission. She makes a she does make a compelling case to to Coulson. You know, we need someone to take care of Mike. He should be someone who already knows about the upgrade or the up the yeah the physiology kind of thing, and you know she at one point she says something like you know it's important to do the right thing or I I I know what I have to do some something along those lines which you know the the other the character that hears that thinks they understand, but we, the audience, know that she's talking about trying to kill Ward. And, yeah, the the team are back together. Yay. Seriously, though, I am loving it, but I can appreciate that the rest of them are not big fans of Grant being there. Did you hear my name? He's like, Candyman. Okay, let's talk about the elephant on the plane. I mean, you should, because it's making it very difficult for the plane to maintain altitude. I, I quite like the, the thing... Yeah, you know, Grant says, I know, this is weird, mistakes were made, and Fitz says, by you. And Grant says, and people got hurt, and Fitz says, by you. And, and yeah, someone actually added the entire exchange to, to the IMDb memorable quote section. I do quite appreciate, you know, yeah, he's, the, the, yeah, he says, for a while there, we were a good team, weren't we? And Sky says, I'm still happy I shot you. Fitz says, yeah, me too. And Simmons adds, should have aimed for the face. And yeah, and and when Coulson, not not very long after, Coulson says something like, you know, Grant, stop the talking thing. <laughs> and I appreciate uh, Lance and Mac seemingly making up, which, yeah, that. That was a pretty, that's a lot to, to forgive. And... Yeah, the, the, um, 
the Quinjet is spotted very clever with the thing with hiding on top of the you know cuz yeah like we didn't realize at the time that was what we were looking at but that is we did see that earlier you know they said okay it's time and it one of the yeah yeah Quinjet lands on top of this other shield thing you know flying thing and yeah it's like well you know that's that is definitely one way to hide because you know the Hydra is not going to be able to tell that there's two vessels that are stuck together like that shoot them out of the sky this was always the plan I'm starting to think this was a bad plan and Yeah, very cool when Sky uses her power. She's gotten very, very good. The the um yeah, you know the the uh, yeah yeah and and Ward is like so that's what happened in Puerto Rico. You could at least thank me and. <laughs> and the response is, how about I just try not to, to shoot you again? Which, yeah. Very cool. You know, in general, the action scenes in the episode are cool. I really love the one where it's, it's Sky by herself, and they do this really long take. Really, yeah. And she uses her power to, to get... Lincoln's heart to to start beating again. And so, you know, and and yeah, it it does make sense. She's gotten she's yeah, she's she's getting better and better. You know, when she like she did lose control a little with the with the wine glass thing. But she didn't like destroy the room. She just broke some some glasses. And see. yeah, and Bakshi actually sacrifices himself to save Grant from the bomb. And yeah, you know, Grant calls Colson and tells him, you know. I don't deserve forgiveness, but Kara does. And Coulson does say, I'll see what I can do. And, yeah, we learn that Gonzalez actually, you know, the thing that he wanted for the mission was powered, enhanced people. And, yeah, Reina and Jaying talk about the the vision she had and the scepter and we get a hint of uh, you know age of ultron and let's see so yeah um some i'm to be memorable no so i'm to be trivia my back is killing me it's messing with my concentration even more so than usual the base Lincoln and Mike are held captive is the same base Quicksilver and Scarlet which have been experimented on during the Captain America the Winter Soldier mid credit scene. Very cool. And yeah, this takes place immediately before the events of a Avengers 2. And... Let's see... Yeah, and, and someone pointed out, you know, the twins are, of course, the Maximoff twins. The scene in which Sky takes out a room of Hydra agents was all done in one shot by Chloe Bennett with no stunt doubles. She fractured her elbow in two places during the take. Yeah. Very, she she really nailed it. And let's see. 
Right, yeah. Uh, in the rescue mission, Coulson had the hidden mission of gathering Hydra intelligence. This mirrors the opening scene of Captain America the Winter Soldier, where Black Widow has to ga was to gather intelligence while the rest of the team was rescuing hostages. And... Yeah. Um... That is it for, yeah, um, I, I quite appreciate when, you know, when, when Simmons comes upon Mike and he tries to, to downplay. I would like to think that if someone found me, you know, yeah, in a, in a medical ward, bandages covering a missing eye, half of one leg, that I'd be able to, to deadpan, it's not as bad as it looks. And when they're like, really? Be able to just respond, nah, it's pretty bad. <laughs>